What's up you guys, Eddie at Fliptronics. I'm going to be showing you how to use split screen on the iPhone 11. Okay, so for whatever reason, Apple has always made it really hard to use split screening. Unlike Android, you can basically do it on any phone. So you will need an app to make this happen. And I know a lot of people out there might not like this, but it is a paid app, okay? I've been using it for, I wanna say like the last two years. So I'm gonna load it up. I'm gonna look for it because it does come up as the first option when you type in split screen. Um, I'll also throw a link down there if you guys wanna just click on it uh, to save yourself a little bit of time. But here we go. So a couple different options come up here. Now I've tried this one out, multitasking split screen. It's absolute garbage. You can see the reviews kind of reflect that. But when you get down to the second one here, uh, split screen multitask viewing this is the one we're going to be looking at so right now the price on it is eight bucks but it kind of like moves around from 6.99 to 8.99 um, so that's what you can expect but you can see it's got a lot of good reviews and there's a reason for that it actually works and does what it says it's going to do so anyways i just downloaded it i'm going to load it up here and uh, we'll get to take a look at it so basically as soon as you open this app up it's ready to go um, you can maneuver the screen by making it smaller with the little um, circular dot in the middle so you can make one screen bigger than the other but um, let's say for example you want to watch a YouTube video and then you want to maybe shop on Amazon that's kind of like a, a real a real example right there all right so anyways uh, you're watching a video on YouTube you're doing some shopping on Amazon um, and uh, you know that's basically it so this would allow you to multitask two things at once you'd also be listening to some music like a music video or whatever on YouTube while you're shopping um, and then the other cool thing about using this app is that they have some built-in features so one of the features that I really like on here is incognito browsing so you can actually use private browsing um, if you're logged in to uh, you know Google or Gmail or something um, and then the other feature I like on here they make it easy to uh, you know add bookmarks and check your history but that's basically it guys like I said I've been using this app for the last couple of years um, it's always been a paid app but it does actually do what it's supposed to um, even on the uh, recent uh, you know update to iOS 13 there's still no you know like built-in feature for split screening so this really is going to be your best option so anyways you guys I'll have a link down there if you want to check it out if you have any more questions about using this app you can message me below please hit the like and share if you haven't subscribed to us yet hit that subscribe and we'll see you in the next one